What's the deal guys? Welcome back. My name is Derek. We'll flip and drip. And today we're going to be talking about the manipulation in the world. We'll cover based on the stock market, crypto market, politics, and pretty much everything else because that essentially influences everything else. So if that's something that interests you, just stay to the end of the video. It'll be a quick one like always. But with that being said, let's jump into it. All right, today we're going to be talking about the manipulation that we see from the wealthy people in the world, why they do it, and we can only assume how they do it. But first, let's get this off the table. I am just a YouTuber and I am barely even a YouTuber. I'm talking barely even a YouTuber. And YouTube doesn't even like me essentially right now. I don't believe so because I believe my second to last video video made them mad, but that's okay. If you want to see it, go to my page. So manipulation is quite interesting because we've dealt with it forever. You could say our history is constantly manipulated by the winners because, well, history is written by the winners. You can also say the stock market is manipulated because, well, if rich people control the news sources, they could put FUD into the market whenever they like, knowing that people trade using AI technology and the technology just reads the article and trades from that. So any market could be manipulated with that technically. Like the whole GameStop situation. They were trying to short GameStop to make a lot of money make them go bankrupt, push them out of the game. Little people figured it out, joined forces, manipulated the market, and made the rich people poor. Well, not poor, but they lost a lot of money. That's still manipulation, no matter how you look at it. Now, I'm here for that, just because the rich people do that to the poor people 24-7, and they never get a slap on the wrist or anything. It's just like, a, you know, this is part of the game. For example, look at JP Morgan. They are constantly sued for manipulating the price of gold and silver and whatnot. And it's like, okay, if they're constantly sued for manipulating gold and silver, why would they not manipulate the stock market, the crypto market, the housing market, or any other market they're in? If they do it in this section, why would they not do it with this one, this one, and this one? If they know they can get away with it and make money and pay a small fine, why would they not do it in every section, especially decentralized ones? So I don't think we should ever let go of the idea of we live in this perfect world where people don't manipulate things to get what they need. Because I mean, really think about it. If you ever really good idea. Most likely you're probably going to tell your inner circle, but you're not going to run around and tell everybody because you think people are going to steal it. So it's always like keeping your circle in the loop. And that's the same thing with trading. I even do it. I'm sure you do it. You find a good stock. You're like, yes, this is what we need. Or you find a good crypto and you're like, yes, this is what we need. And you tell your friends first. Or you hear some news that's going to make the stock or crypto go up. You tell your friends first. You keep it in the circle, just like how rich people are going to keep it in their circle. So it's like, let's take Bitcoin, for example. If one rich person got into Bitcoin and they knew regulations were coming and they were going to be friendly and Bitcoin was going to be worked into our system, they would tell the other rich friend because rich friends get rich together. Now, here's where manipulation comes in. Say the one person bought it at 4000 10000 20000 and the other guy's trying to buy it now and he's all, hmm, I need the price to go down. Well, that's okay because you could pay people to make negative articles, which your AI trading bot is going to pick up and start selling and liquidating and blah, blah, blah. And then you get these little dips that you could buy in. And you know, people actually buy over the counter, which doesn't touch the exchange. And we hear like MicroStrategy buying like 10,000 Bitcoin. And you're just like, how does that not affect the price where they're buying over the counter? kind of manipulation as well. It's not a fair market. I know I'm jumping all over the place, but even in 2008, when the housing market fell apart and all that stuff, that is when I believe capitalism died because uh, too big to fail, they didn't let companies fail. And you know, capitalism is privately owned right to fail. They didn't let the big companies fail because they're in bed with the government. Maybe that's manipulation, maybe it's not. And you could carry the same thing on the NFTs and paintings and all that stuff. There's manipulation everywhere we look in America. And it's not just America, it's all over the world, but I'm just saying America because that hits home. And this is why I always go back into just believe in what you invest in and keep investing and, you know, let it do what it naturally does because you're not big enough to compete with the whales. You're a fish, most likely, or a shark, maybe, maybe a shark, but you are not a whale. I guarantee it. A whale will not be sitting on YouTube watching this channel. Well, at least, yeah. But besides the point, manipulation breathes in this system. I mean, look at uh, Nancy Pelosi, for example. I'm wondering if you have any reaction to that, and secondly, should members of Congress and their spouses be banned from trading individual stocks while serving in Congress? No, I don't know to the second one. Um, any, but we have a responsibility to report in the stock, on the stock, but I don't, I'm not familiar with that five-month review, but if the people aren't reporting, they should be. Why do you think, why do you think, think that? Um, because this is a free market and people 
We are a free market economy that should be able to participate in that. She's basically inside trading, and uh, nobody cares. Because it's an open market. And that's a prime example of what they're probably all doing behind closed doors because the president makes like 400,000, right? And you can only imagine they don't make the same, but how come they're worth like hundreds of millions of dollars and how do they have $10 million houses? and How do they have all this stuff? Well, it's probably because of lobbying one and investing in stuff that you know that's going to go up. And lobbying is manipulation because deep down inside, you know tobacco's not healthy and these pharmaceutical industries aren't healing anybody, but you do what you have to do and pass those laws to make a paycheck for you and what's beneficial for your circle. It's a very selfish game. That's why I think lobbying should be illegal. But again, manipulation breeds everywhere in a system. So my best advice is just to learn to live with it, invest accordingly, trust what you invest in, and just let time tell all, you know. But with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this type of content. If you did, I would appreciate it if you dropped a like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you gotta do to stay in the loop. I drop a video about every other day, helping you mentally, physically, financially, spiritually, and emotionally, all for free, no joke. And my name is Derek with Flip and Drip, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.